Is Jesus a Republican or a Democrat? Jesus is neither. Okay. Um, and I say that simply because when we talk about those groups, in both of those groups, I mean, you know, they're human created groups with mm -hmm. human ideologies to them and hum human preferences. And in both cases, because they're created by human beings, they have some of the best ideals we could want to follow and some that are very ungodly, which mm -hmm. are very damaging. So I always get concerned when someone tries to say, you know, they've got the monopoly on, on Jesus Christ. Right. I can remember reading once uh, a statement made by Abraham Lincoln during the, uh, the Civil War, and I'm going to paraphrase it, but someone had come up to him and said that, you know, wasn't it good that God was on the side of the Union? Mm -hmm. And right. uh, Abraham Lincoln co contradicted the individual and said, you know, I don't believe that God is on our side. I pray that we are on God's right. side. And there, there's the difference. Are you seeking God for your ideology and right. following his ways? Or are you trying to walk your way and then somehow kind of stamp God onto it? We we do that a lot, don't we? Yes, we do. It's it's a natural human tendency because our tendency as human beings in our natural fallen state is to make us the center of our universe. Mm -hmm. So my my wants, my desires, my goals become central, and then we try to drag God in and have God bless it instead of going, no, God, I need to look to you 100%. And because my ways are not your ways, you've told me that. You've also told me that, you know, the human heart is, you know, deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. So if I'm starting with me, I'm starting in a bad spot. Yeah. It's some of these issues I could sell you in or sell you out using the Bible. Yes. Right? Oh, yes, absolutely. And we, I um. In our school this month, being Black History Month, we've been doing a lot and trying to bring things in to help our students understand, grapple with the issues of racism in our own community, in our own country. And we were watching a video series, and in one of the videos, the speaker, a Christian historian, was speaking about a book that had was published, uh, in this case in the United States, by one of the Bible societies on how you could know for sure that African-Americans were not made in the image of God. Mm -hmm. And through some cherry-picked scriptures and some really warped theology, they had produced this book, which was then being marketed to churches. So there comes the danger when I come up with my ideology, then I go to scripture and I try to right. you know, proof text right. my, my view instead of letting scripture tell me this is the view now walk ye in it yes and i know that's a you know i got to do that myself too let scripture dictate mm -hmm. truth not me have a preconceived idea and notion and then use scripture as a backing for yes. my already uh my idea right yeah, exactly okay. absolutely good point